The Rants franchise has been around since 1989. Since then, what kind of content we find permissible in real life has changed. Unfortunately, there is a growing number of people and corporations that have lost the ability to distinguish fiction from reality. So, we are placed in a situation where YouTube, Steam, and Patreon regulate fictional sexual content as if it's actually happening in real life. Now, I can't tell you why we regulate fictional sex and sexuality differently than we do fictional violence or other fictional crimes, but I can tell you that denying safe and healthy outlets for the exploration of sex and sexuality makes the situation worse. Do I enjoy every flavor in the Rand series? That doesn't matter. I shouldn't be the authority on what type of fiction we should or should not allow. That is generally up to society, but I'm not really sure what society even means in a world with the internet. Steam claims that they regulate their platform according to the laws of the state of Washington, which makes little to no sense to a person living in Germany or Australia. How much of Nintendo does the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia need to own before we see it impact what Princess Peach is allowed to wear? Well, at least she'll hopefully still be able to drive in Mario Kart. Do I care about the violence in Rants? About as much as I care about the violence in Call of Duty. The same as I care about the violence in the Bible or the Quran. I mean, let's be fair. Nothing happens in Rants that doesn't happen in the Old Testament of the Bible. However, YouTube has totally fair rules with 100% consistent enforcement of those rules, so unfortunately, I'm not allowed to list the flavors in this title. That being said, this is a tactical strategy game with multiple female relationships to pursue. Basically, Fire Emblem, but with a harem. Overall, the game has a lighthearted feel with moments of tragedy and sadness. The character and behavior of Rance is probably the biggest issue people have with the series, and while you'll likely not see the franchise on Steam anytime soon. Virtually invincible rapacious characters are a historical cross-cultural phenomenon, whether we're talking about Gilgamesh, Achilles, Siegfried, or Lu Bu. Rance is just the modern version of this trope, like Zap Brannigan. Rance is a flawed character and the story is more meaningful because of those flaws. Some people may find those flaws unacceptable, but then just don't play the game. There are way more serious real-life issues that need addressing than regulating the type of fiction people have access to. Which is a shame, because this series is a fantastic demonstration of the evolution of adult gaming over the last 35 years. I mean, Rants 7, 8, and 9 were a strategy RPG, a modern-style turn-based RPG, and now a tactical strategy RPG. I've never seen this kind of variation from any company when it comes to sequels. The game is engaging, the combat is challenging, but not too difficult, and the overall story is really decent. My biggest gripe, other than there being no animations, is that there are so many characters that return from previous games. I mean, that is great for longtime fans of the franchise. But Rance 9 is not a great starting point for people who are new to the series. They do give you an index of characters to help you keep track of everyone, but if you're looking to start fresh, you may want to try Rant 6 and go from there. Otherwise, this game is fun and is a great prelude for the final episode of the Rant Saga, Rant 10 Showdown, which will hopefully be translated into English in the next few years. So if you enjoy comedic adventures, Fire Emblem, and aren't bothered by violence, then I highly recommend Rants 9, The Hellmanian Revolution. Let me know what you think. What is your favorite Rants game, and how do you keep track of all the different characters and potential waifus? And do you think people would react differently to the series if Rants was a woman? Until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's support on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you all.